the Lord, praise the Lord, hallelujah, God bless you so much for always watching, my name is Zeria Tauzechi, yet to share Bible verse with you every single day, today I'm going to read the book of Ruth chapter 3, verse is 8, let's dive in, as it says, it came to pass at midnight that the man was afraid and turned himself, and behold, a woman lay at his feet, <laughs> And he said, Who art thou? And she answered, I am Ruth, thy handmaid. Spread therefore thy skirt over thy handmaid, for thou art a near kinsman. Hallelujah. And he said, Blessed be thou of the Lord, my daughter, for thou art showed more kindness in the latter hand than at the beginning, inasmuch as thou followest not young men, whether poor nor rich. Hallelujah. Ruth was not always looking at. Are you poor or rich? She was just minding her business and Boaz took notice of that. Verse 11 says, And now, my daughter, fear not, I will do to thee all that thou requires. For all the cities of my people dwell know that thou art a virtuous woman. How many people know you're a virtuous woman? Are you only virtuous at your working place? Or are you only good in your church? Or after you, when you're out of your church, nobody knows what to do again or are you just good at your home are you as everyone knew that Ruth was a virtuous woman as she does not have to pretend to be good everyone knew that she was good and it is true that I am thy kinsman I'll bet there's a kinsman nearer than I tarry this night and it shall be in the morning that if he will perform unto thee the part of a kinsman well let him do the king's man's part, but if he will not do the part of a king's man to thee, then I will do the part of a king's man to thee, as the Lord liveth, lie down until the morning. Hmm, that was a very strong promise. Ha! Boaz already, was already in love, but he knew he knew laws and regulations. He said there was someone that was supposed to, that is closer than you, but let me go and take permission. If he's going to do it, well, if he's not, he will do it hallelujah father will give you glory we'll thank you for your word Father, every um obedience we need you know david used to pray one prayer father quicken us prompt us to know to design that the path that we are taking is your own path of righteousness in jesus name amen read the bible verse for yourself know what the father is saying to you get familiar with the word of god so when the holy spirit speaks to you you will, you will see the similarity in the word of god with what is saying god bless you so so much share subscribe let the word of god go out there through you do have a blessed life god bless you